actually had a complaint from a viewer, believe it or not, saying that when they'd watched the DRO video of me fitting it, and I hadn't actually shown the DRO in use at the end, and they were really disappointed. So, here it is. I've actually set it up. There isn't, a, there isn't really a lot you have to do. You just have to set it to lathe mode, basically. There are a few settings, but it was pretty much um, calibrated already for, for, um, for this machine. So, uh, here we are. I mean, you can uh, zero the axis. Let me move. That's the Z-axis moving. There's the X-axis moving. You can zero them off. You can set the set a specific size on the axes like that. You can uh, find the center. You can switch between incremental and absolute zeros. Yeah, SDM button, very important. Inches and millimeters, radius, diameter mode, you can measure tapers, store different tools so you don't have to uh, change your settings if you swap out a tool, and a calculator. I mean, it does loads of other things. Um, I haven't really got to grips too, too much with it, but it all seems to work. And I've, I've actually turned a couple of little test pieces and it is super accurate, so I'm really happy with it. Right, back on with building the submarine. inch pipe cap which is going to fit on the end of the pipe on the tube so now I've got the absolute job of hell of grinding this to a v-bevel this one luckily these come with the bevel so that's all convenient so that's good nothing to do on that that's that's basically the 12 inch pipe cap and I'm going to weld that on there pods as you can see and I've actually attached on these pieces of angle and I've actually I've clamped them on with a just an ordinary ratchet strap I mean normally I'd weld these on but I just thought save cut them off I can strap it on and if I do the same on the other side I think that'll probably work so I'm gonna give that a try been a bit delayed this morning because I've been making something for a customer which is these three things I'm gonna take and cut them out of the way they're in the um, my limited space can be like a, a flower display holder or something for a wedding cake. Keep those out of the way for now. And I'll carry on with this. And I can't take this bit out because. Pretty good alignment. Double double V bevel. It's all cleaned up and everything. There you go. Really would like to take this out, but oh, I'm just gonna have to say I can't be bothered. Right. But first, cup of tea. So there it is, ready to go. Double bevel. Settling would be better. Better than nothing. Extraction on. Well, I've had a cup of 
until you let it cool down. I'm just going to do a final run, cap and run over the top. I haven't let it cool down completely, it's still warm. So I don't want it to get cold, but it's not screaming hot. It's finished. I'm just going to try the end cap on, just going to cramp it on. Uh, the next job is to put the other end cap on. I've just got to work out some sort of... Uh, just some way of holding the holding the battery tray in correctly and just see if I can I'm just gonna try this just hook it up somehow this way that's a no need to do this whatsoever no. so next I've got to make I've just got to make some sort of holding contraption now, I don't know. Something, just a couple of bolts across there. That looks pretty good. Pretty happy with that. Yep, pretty happy with that. Just the end cap to go, but the trouble is I've already got to get on with this flower thing from the wedding company. So I think that'll probably do this week.